Go to untuckit.com, code Colin. Untuckit.com, go Colin. 20% off the fall arrivals are in right now. So, you know, you have to be careful on Monday of overreaction Monday. Where fans go crazy and they, oh, my God, well, my team, I'll give you an example. Don't take too much of Seattle losing. Slow down. Put the pom-poms down, Washington fans. First of all, Seattle sat Kirk Cousins six times. Their defense is good. Seattle had 440 yards of offense. Seattle's good. First down, Seattle dominated. Net yards, Seattle dominated. Net plays, Seattle dominated. Net yards rushing, line of scrimmage, Seattle dominated. Time of possession, Seattle dominated. Seattle missed three field goals and had several huge plays called back due to penalties. Ask yourself a question. In the NFC right now, where does nobody want to play in January? Seattle, and it's raining sideways. People take their chances playing in Philadelphia. Nobody wants to play. People take their chances playing in a dome in Minnesota, playing against the Saints, playing against the Cowboys, playing in L.A. against the Rams. Nobody wants to play in December and January in a driving rainstorm where Pete Carroll and Russell Wilson have never lost a home playoff game. Okay, so don't. In the last two years, let's take all the teams that have been in the Super Bowl the last two years. New England lost a home game last year to Seattle. Okay? The Falcons last year lost to the 7 and 9 Eagles. Let's take the year before. Denver got to the Super Bowl. They lost to the 8 and 8 Colts and the 7 and 9 Raiders in November. Carolina lost to an average Atlanta team 8 and 8 in December. This is not college football. It's the National Football League, and by the way, Seattle's next three games are Arizona, home Atlanta, and at San Francisco. Five and three is going to be eight and three. Here's the other thing. If you're like, oh, Seattle, they're on the rocks. I don't trust Seattle. Oh, really? You don't trust Pete Carroll, Russell Wilson, that defense, and now Dwayne Brown? Let's look right now at the NFC playoff picture. Put the pom-poms down. Take the Eagles out of it. You really trust the Saints, who have played two good teams this year? Minnesota and New England lost to both. Think the Vikings are going to be around in February? Who's their quarterback? I like the Rams, but Jared Goff's a baby. Carolina, hot and cold. Trust them? I like the Cowboys a lot, but they're in a battle for a wild card because they're not beating Philadelphia, and Ezekiel Elliott's gone now for the next six weeks. Right below the Seahawks, the Packers without Aaron Rodgers, and give me a break on Atlanta. Outside of the Eagles right now, who I absolutely trust, and I do like the Vikings' defensive roster, and I think Dallas has talent, but their best running back is now gone for the next six weeks. Don't tell me, Seattle, listen, this is something college fans go nuts on this. Seattle's better than Washington. Seattle missed three field goals. Look at the box score. Totally outgained them. Seattle had several big plays called back due to penalty. The Seahawks are fine. Everything's going to be okay. Look at their schedule. Arizona, Atlanta, San Francisco. Five and three, eight and three. And then it gets tough, but they do get the Eagles at home. They do get the Rams at home, and they do get Arizona at home to end the season. Really, you're freaking out? You know, one of my rules in the NFL, when you lose, how do you lose? Seattle lost by a touchdown in week one. They lost by six points in week three. And they lost yesterday by a field goal. But look at their wins. They have hammered certain teams. Seattle's going to be a playoff team. They're one of the six teams in this league that's really good. But this is not college football. Okay? It's not. It's the NFL. You have good weeks. You have bad weeks. And Seattle yesterday just couldn't get out of their own ways. In fact, I think they had, what, 14 penalties? <laughs> see, Let me see. Penalties right now. Seattle had 16 penalties. <laughs> it's just one of those days. They just couldn't get it right. There's a big difference between having a day when you don't play particularly well and just not being very good. And that's no, I'm not taking anything away from Washington. I think Washington is a really feisty team. 
I love their head coach. I love their pass rush. They have one of the best corners in Josh Norman in the league. They have a superstar young running back who a lot of people don't know because he's overshadowed by the Eagles and Ezekiel Elliott, but they have a terrific young running back. I mean, Washington's a real good team here. Washington's now beating the Rams in L.A. and the Seahawks in Seattle. Uh, Washington's a real football team. But if they played again and they'd have to play in Seattle, who would you take? In a driving rainstorm, who would you take in January if these teams played? You know the answer. It's not Washington. Well, if you want to protect your home this holiday season, my listeners now have early access to Simply Safe's biggest Black Friday sale ever. 200 bucks off Simply Safe's holiday security system. Okay? It's effortless. Barely lift a finger. Order it online. 